I slept great last night. Alright. I shaved the other day. And it feels so weird. Oh my god. Anyway. Um. Oh shit. Just woke up and grabbed the camera. That's the vibe we had today. Uh, second time I've done this. Both times I look like shit. Feel like shit. Sound like shit. I should probably stop doing this. But look what came in the mail yesterday. You can't even tell what it is. But, oh my god. I look naked. Oh my goodness. Oil change done on the Civic. Completed. Mission complete. Alright, anyway. Now, oh my god. Now we get to the tuning process of the Civic. Of the Civic. Can't wait to see what this looks like in person. You know what I'm saying? I had to try. I tried so hard not to open this first thing last night. But I really wanted to get it on camera. And I wanted to get all my ducks in line first. Like my oil change. My computer charged. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Look at that. My clothes in the background, don't you mind it. More power for your car with Monty GTR. Okay, it doesn't look very interesting on the cover, but let's see what the inside looks like. You gonna make my car fast? Super fast? Okay. Oh my god. Freaking box is like Ford Knox. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing that goes into the engine's CPU. Oh yeah, the bubble pop. Gotta love it. Alright. Here is the... Oh. Huh. It did come with a... Uh, Came with the mount, that's pretty cool. CPU fin there, showed you guys that already. I think this is what goes into the computer. Yes. Yes, that's right, yes. Okay. All right, now here is the Monty. A little smaller than I figured, but who who camera facing me. I mean, not camera, whatever it's called. <laughs> this is it though. This is it. The Monty GTR. Hopefully it can go either way. There's no top or bottom. Oh shit. Oh shit. Look at that. Oh. Nice new screen. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go plug this into my computer, and then we'll see what happens next. Just dropped my GoPro on my computer, but here we go, and we're just selecting the, let's see here. There we are. Sports. Next program. 
There we go. No way. What? Are you kidding me? I need to take a shower, dude. My hair looks like shit. Oh my god, dude. Look at this. Right now. Please select your mode. That's crazy. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go put this in the car right, right now. Took me two seconds. I can't believe it. It looks beautiful in here. It looks so nice. I need to clean this thing. It's getting dusty in here. How you doing, baby? Anyway. Yeah, it looks fucking great right there. I love it. I can have it so it shows my my speed, miles per hour, miles per gallon, horsepower, and torque that's like happening that or could be outputted right now. It's in idle, that's why it's all stupid like that. But or I could go to wait live gauges. Default gauge, which shows my RPMs, volts, and horsepower also. Which is cool. And we got the scan tool. So it'll show me any codes, anything's wrong. Um, these are all the tunes I can do, race, sport, or economy. So if I wanted to drive across the country, I could put it in economy, <laughs> which I have done before. This is a meter. And then I can time my zero to 60, which is pretty fucking cool too. I thought that was neat. Um, but the only thing is now is I have to drive 120 miles before I can get it to actually um, Fully have the full effect on the car and but that's why it's cool to have this live gauges here because I'll, I'll be able to see it Oh, Wrong one I'll be able to see it as it goes. I'll be able to see the change in horsepower and torque after these 120 miles. So what we have on the dash, we have 46,495 or 46,695 miles on the engine. So it's still a baby. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So that's in there. Um, and I'm probably gonna go for a long ass drive today. Probably update you guys tomorrow. When I clean the fucking car, because after a big ass drive like that and driving to New York last weekend, the car is a fucking mess and it's starting to piss me off. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go get some Dunkin'. I need some coffee. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the little snippet of me putting this in here, the Monty GTR. It's a great thing so far. I liked it. I don't know if it actually, I mean, it should work a lot because I paid 360 bucks for it. But I think it's pretty fucking cool, man. Regardless, being able to see my horsepower and stuff like that, the little gauge right there, I think it's worth it. Because, like, look at this. Ready? I can rev it. It's in real time. All right. So it has been one week since I put that in. Um been working a lot so i haven't really been able to get like good footage of anything or anything like that it's pretty late right now too but um basically um that thing works fucking awesome i love it 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 uh probably increased the horsepower i'd guess probably like 50 50 to 60 probably um Definitely made it so it drove smoother just in general the car just like It just it, I don't know how to explain it other than smoother. It just It just goes it just goes it just goes It just goes zero to sixty. Oh, sorry zero to sixty wise I haven't really been able to like I never really timed it like without it Cause like, why would I do that? Um, so I'd have, I'd have to like look up the stock thing, but I'd say it's probably around like, I don't know. It's pretty fast now. I haven't really done that, any of that. Uh, I've been just kind of working, but I uh, just wanted to get the review out there. It's a very awesome tool. 10 out of 10 would recommend it. 
Um, I'm definitely going to put out all my other cars that I get in the future. And yeah, uh, definitely stay tuned for the next video. And yeah, so that's basically it. Hope you all enjoyed and deuces.